question is for Chris and Sam, but any of the other actors or filmmakers who want to answer this, please go ahead. Um, tell me about working with the great Robert Redford. He's amazing. It was pretty intimidating that day because he is a living legend. Um, but it's always such a treat when someone you look up to that much lives up to the expectation. I mean, he very easily could have come on set and hijacked the film, not just as an actor, but given his past as a director and his experience, he very easily could have taken over. He showed up with the utmost professionalism, he was lying. I think the first day we filmed, we shot till one in the morning, and he stuck around for my off-camera stuff. I mean, it was like it was his first movie. Um, so he really is uh, such an example of what it is to be great. Sam? Yeah, pretty much the same. Um, I met Robert in a lot of different situations when I was going to Sundance when I was a younger actor, uh, when he had a more active part in that process. and. I missed an opportunity to do several films with him over the years. Uh, and that morning when I got there to work with him for the first time, we sat down, we talked about a lot of different things. We talked about golf, we talked about life, we talked about movies. So by the time we got on set, it did look like we spent time together or had some past in some darker and more medieval state of uh, <laughs> counterinsurgency. Uh, and it was a great experience. Uh, he's everything Chris said. He's professional. He knew his lines. He wanted to do it. He wanted to try in different ways. He wanted to, you know, make things better. Uh, and that's part of coming into the Marvel Universe. People come in and they see what we do and they kind of want to blend into it and make things better. And as we continue to do it, things do get better. I think this is the first time that we've really gotten to see um, kind of Natasha, you know, we saw a little bit of her in Avengers, um, and we saw a bit of her backstory, but, uh, yeah, and we'll see more of that in Avengers, too. But, it, but, but, in, but in this film, we really get to see um, Natasha as a person who, you know, gets up, gets ready for work in the morning, has a life outside of, you know, just, just her job once she's, you know, once she's out of the suit, you know, I mean, she's a, she's a woman, and, uh, she has, you know, her own, her own kind of reality outside of this, even though, you know, who knows how far that stretches, but, um, you know, it's not until, I think, through the series of circumstances, um, as the plot unfolds, you know, we kind of find both, I think, uh, Steve and Natasha kind of questioning their own identity, realizing that they thought that they had, you know, they were pretty strong people that had their beliefs or whatever kind of twisted morals they might have or whatever they are. Maybe the widow more than, than, than caps, but um, you know, at the end of it they realize, wait, I actually don't know who I I've actually been told kind of I've I've been this sort of hired hand for this you know, my entire kind of professional career and, you know, sort of young adult life and who am I and what what do I want and what do I need from someone. So she's both of these characters are kind of left in some ways, there's a kind of cliffhanger at the end because you really see that they're just in the, they're just kind of cresting the wave of, you know, having this huge, um, you know, moment of self-discovery. And uh, hopefully we'll, you know, I think we'll be able to track where that goes in the next, next installments. Had I not done the movies, it would have been the biggest mistake of my life. It really would have been the biggest regret to date, um, and there are plenty. Um, it, it, it's changed everything for me. I mean, it, not, not just what it's enabled me to do outside of these movies, but it's so comforting knowing that you're making good movies. It would be a nightmare to be trapped in this contract when you're making films that you're not proud of. But Marvel has the Midas touch, so every time you suit up, uh, you, you, you know that you're making something of quality. and It's rewarding on every level, so thank God I had the right people in my life pushing me to make the right decision. You know, Natasha is... Um a bit of a reluctant superhero, you know, she doesn't necessarily have um, this really kind of strong, golden moral compass, you know. Um, let's not forget, she started her, out her career as, you know, essentially a mercenary, you know. Um, but, and so, you know, I don't know if that makes her a role model material. But she, she you know, in some ways, I will say, um, you know, Natasha, I think one of the things that's very, you know, that's attractive to me about the character is that she, she uses her feminine wiles, you know, as kind of a part of her job, but she doesn't rely on, um, you know, her sexuality or, you know, you know, kind of appeal, um, physical appeal to get her, you know, uh, get the job done. You know, she's, she's extremely smart. 
she she thinks on her feet. She's a leader, and um, you know, and she is uh, she is um, I think has a, has a lot of foresight, and those are all qualities that I think it's you know wonderful to celebrate for for young women. And of course, it's really rad for me to have my kids, you know, my my friends' kids, you know. Uh, uh, kind of look up to that character and you know dress up like her as Halloween and like you know play with the boys and be rough and you know I always say like the widow always wins and it's true. Well I'm always excited to do more um, and Nick seems to grow with each you know film uh, and I realized when I was reading it that it was a bit more than just uh, you know a comic book feature that it had intrigue and I'm sure a lot of a lot of young people are going to be surprised when they get in the movie and watch it that they actually have to think about something other than what's going on. Um, you have to figure out a plot. Uh, and that always excites me. Uh, and it was, um, it's always an, a great, great joy to know that I'm going to be back in a space with all the people that I enjoy working with and being able to do the things that I did on a very small scale when I was a kid. I mean, this is you know, a dream come true. You sit there and you read comic books when you're a kid and you wonder if there's a world like that. Uh, you grow up as an actor and they start making movies like that and you wonder, how can I get in that movie? And then next thing you know, you're inside it and you're kind of like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's, they're all pluses there. You know, it's an interesting challenge to keep coming back to this character. And I think one of the, you know, I have the good fortune of playing a character that's sort of <coughs> evolving with each kind of installment that you see her in. So, I mean, of course, I know, I, I, you know, going in to play the character, of course, I have to understand who this character is and where she comes from and have this sort of rich backstory, um, you know, and, and I think the exciting thing is just scraping away a little, you know, a little part of that each time, you know, to reveal, um, you know, kind of a, a small part of the bigger picture of her, and it's it, it's a very complex character, um, which is wonderful for me because over the period of time that I've played her, you know, I've also grown. Obviously, it's been like six years, or more, you know, as you do in your in your in your career, your work, your life. Um, so I feel that the story is sort of becoming uh, the character story is is more enriched as as my own experiences are. It's exciting. Again, a lot of it has to do with the fact that you know you're making good movies. If, if you were disappointed with the previous film, it's going to be hard to mentally prepare yourself for living in that thing for, you know, four or five months. But since Marvel just can't stop making quality movies, uh, it's, it's, it's exciting and it's, it's humbling and it's, it's an honor to, to jump back into it.